Vasquez here for the Student Outreach Team. And today we are bringing the IB team to you from McAllen ISD. So we have a panel of experts I'm going to introduce in just a moment, but it is application season for the IB program. McAllen ISD both has an IB program uh, academy in middle school as well as an academy in high school. So we have folks from both of those teams here to answer some great questions, give you some great information so that you have time to apply uh, for next school year. So before we get started, I want everyone to introduce themselves. Um, Ms. Susan, will you go ahead and start? Sure. Hello, everyone. I'm Susan Garcia. I'm a member of the SPSO team. I work with transfers. I'm glad to see everyone today. Next, Marino. We can jump right in with our IB team, whoever would like to go next. Hi, uh, good afternoon. My name is Mrs. Nino and I serve as the principal of Lamar Academy and the IB head of school for the MYP years four and five and fall program. Thank you. Welcome, Ms. Nino. Hi, I'm Mr. Lopez. I am the lead counselor and college admission specialist with Lamar Academy, uh, assisting in the international baccalaureate program. Uh, hello everyone. Hello, I, I'm Mr. Cáceres. Sam Cáceres uh, here at Alonso de Leon Middle School. Uh, we had the IB uh, Middle Years Program, the Academy, and so we are here at house at Alonso de Leon Middle School. And I'll, I'll let our IB coordinator, Ms. Alanis, introduce herself. Hi, everyone. I'm Kimberly Alanis. I'm the MYP uh, coordinator here at the IB Middle Years Academy, and thank you all for joining us. Awesome. Thank you so much, team. We're so excited that you're with us and so thankful for your time today. Um, I would like to start out with just a very broad question. What is the International Baccalaureate Program? What does that mean? And how does it differ from our typical um, school experience for our McAllen ISD kids? So uh, I can talk a little bit to that. Uh, as far as the IB program, the IB uh, community, uh, the IB education um, starts off in, 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 in elementary with the primary years program. And then, of course, we have the middle uh, years program all the way up to the DP program, the diploma program, which Ms. Nino will probably uh, talk a little, elaborate and talk a little bit more about. But I can tell you that it's a rigorous framework that, that really uh, centers itself uh, around uh, the student. Uh, and, and when I say centers, around the student. It's a uh, way of uh, giving our students a well-rounded, rigorous uh, curriculum uh, to get them prepared for college and beyond. So it's, it's a great framework to develop students uh, that focuses on uh, student attributes, uh, being risk takers, uh, being courageous, being thinkers, critical thinkers, knowledgeable. So it centers around uh, building students uh, into great learners, troubleshooters, uh, problem solvers, uh, out of the box thinkers. It, it, and by specifically design lessons, you know, that, that the teachers create for our students, um, they're able to, to take uh, uh, these uh, lifelong learning lessons into uh, not only up the ladder educationally, but, but down the road in, in life as well. So when you talk about IB, it is uh, worldwide, it's recognized worldwide, um, not just a high school uh, diploma, but it's a worldwide recognizable diploma when you go through the complete program and finish at the high school. So that's what I can say about IB. I'd uh, just like to echo what Mr. Casada said. And we actually have years four and five, which are ninth and 10th grade here at IB at Lamar Academy. And he couldn't say it better. Um, it's really the middle years program is that um, ability to make practical connections through the studies, through those courses, and also find ways to connect to the real world. Um, in year five, which is sophomore level, they um, you know, culminate their MYP experience from years one through five with a personal project. And so that would be the end of the middle years program. And then we do have a lot of our students that then apply and just transition into a diploma program, which is an all college level program, including an extended essay, which is an independent research. Um, you know, over the two, two years of the program, they start looking at taking 
um, courses such as theory of knowledge and also engaging in creativity, action, and service. Good point, Ms. Nino. I forgot to mention that it also in the middle years program, uh, our eighth graders uh, culminate the program with a community project. So it's, it's a, you know, service uh, cent centered uh, learner, uh, you know, uh, of course, uh, centered around our, our learner, our students, but uh, with, with, a, with an emphasis on service uh, to the community and ultimately uh, to your, uh, you know, community uh, beyond uh, school. So uh, service-minded oriented education. I loved hearing about all of the student-centered perspective that the International Baccalaureate Program invites students to take hold of and to really own. And it made me think of a question that some of our families might have. How do I know if my student is a good fit for this rigorous academic program? And also, what if I haven't been at uh, one of the primary years program, IB schools in McAllen? How, is that gonna work? Um, I would say that IB is naturally inclusive of everyone from the start, whether, um, you know, again, Mr. Caceres or Ms. Alanis could speak more to the beginning of the middle years program, but as they continue on here, years four and five and into the diploma, um, IB designs their program to be completely inclusive of any learner that is um, willing to truly step out of the box. Um, just the way that they're assessed, um, it is, you know, a lot of authentic assessment. And, um, you know, they're bundling around this content experience but adding other items again, such as um, personal experiences, connecting with their community, uh, writing authentic uh, papers. And so traditionally in some of your academic settings that might not be something they're used to, but with the support and the ex expertise of our staff, and that includes teachers, counselors, um, all that support, um, our students are very successful through that process. Yeah, I'm sure Ms. Alanis can talk a little bit more to this, but uh, that's one thing I love about the IB program and, and, and the uh, uh, curriculum itself is um, if, if you don't, uh, if you didn't start out at the PYP program, if you didn't start out at the elementary, you didn't start out at middle school, you still have the ability to come into to the uh, IB program, regardless of where you're at. Um, the only thing that, that you need to find out is, is this right for your child? Uh, does your child want to be in the, uh, uh, in the IB program? Do they want to participate? Do they want to be that well-rounded student at the end of their education uh, so that, uh, you know, they're looked at by prestigious universities uh, when they complete uh, the IB program? So um, that, that's, that's one thing I can say about uh, um, that question. And I know um, I was just going to ask, and maybe you can answer this question. Um, Mr. Gossett has just said, you know, you want to be part of this prestigious program and this well-rounded student. So question, it sounds like the IB program is definitely um, rigorous, definitely outside of the box thinking. I mean, this sounds just fascinating to me. Does a student willing to dedicate themselves 100% to academics? Or can an IB middle years or, um, or a high school student participate in other things as well? Do, do your students participate in, in band or orchestra, sports, fine arts? Um, it's a big part of the McAllen ISD experience. Do they sacrifice that to be part of IB? So and I think that's a good question. I know where we started was, uh, you know, what is IB? And now, kind of evolving the conversation and hearing all this dialogue. I think it comes down to like maybe an, an idea of like, is IB a good fit for me, right? And how do I know if it's gonna be a good fit for me? So let's start off there from a counseling perspective for as a high school counselor and then as a former middle school counselor. So, you know, been in both worlds, uh, talking to a prospective student, like an eighth grader, you know, navigating the world of choice, you know, in ninth grade where it used to just be, okay, I know where I'm going to high school, that's easy, yay. Now it's just like, oh, am I going to high school? Oh my Lord, like dinner table conversations, right? So something that is a unique feature that we like to, you know, talk about and think about to be a good match is 
You know, if you're the type of student who's always asking questions in class, if you're the type of student who's, it's two in the morning and you're in like on your 90th article on Wikipedia and rabbit holing into all kinds of like areas of exploration because you're just curious and naturally you just want to know more, right? I think that's going to be a good starting point. Like this is a good starting point for you to maybe scratch that surface. And our most successful IB students to tackle on the other side, like we can call them hybrid kids, right? Where they take all their academics at IB throughout all four years and then explore other electives at IB academically and also are super successful like on the homeschool end. When we say homeschool, like their traditional comprehensive homeschool that they're assigned to. So one of our most distinguished like kids from last year who did it via COVID was a senior participating in mariachi and who got into the UTRGV early vaqueros medical program, right? So that's locked in. So we're seeing a lot of success through that global perspective program delivered with fidelity and accuracy and like humility all throughout the existence of everything. And universities are definitely accepting it and welcoming it. So yeah, we see a lot of success when they are able to, you know, pursue their passions like music, athletics and all that good stuff. Mr. Lopez, do the graduates from Lamar Academy attend um, college? Do most of them go to college? Yeah, no, that's 100% guaranteed, like from the beginning, like that is such a side effect. Like we know they're gonna go to school. It's just really shaping the path of how they're gonna get there and what that's gonna look like. And that kind of like really begins that exploration. So, yeah. And I just wanted to add, you know, I agree with, with Mr. Lopez on, on kind of what, what it takes to, to get there. And that's one thing I, I really love about the IB uh, program uh, and, and the academy here is that um, we have something that, that's called approaches to learning. We, we have acronyms for everything, right? A ATL, the ATL skills. Well, what we try to do uh, is, is prepare our students in, in the academy uh, to be ready for the rigor that, that comes at the high school level. So, um, you know, we talk a lot and, and it's also embedded into uh, the lessons is, you know, your time management, your communication skills, you know, th those affective skills that, that uh, are, are really uh, just developing, we, we try to make sure that students are, are really polished with those before they get into, and, and those are just a few of the approaches to learning. Uh, but but uh, again, talking about uh, what we try to do to, to make that student uh, ready, prepared, and, and well-rounded uh, for uh, whatever may come. And, and it's just like uh, anything that, that you do, the sooner you get started in it uh, at the elementary level, and, and you follow it all the way up, well, uh, you're, you're, the, the battle is, is, is more than halfway uh, done when, when you start it that way. Uh, but again, it, it, if you don't start at the elementary or at the middle school, it does take some adjusting to, and, and you gotta be ready for the rigors. I have a follow-up question right there. Um, Ms. Alanis, this, this one's for you. So maybe I'm the parent of a fifth grader or a sixth grader, but I don't currently attend a McAllen ISD school. Am I sort of out of luck or do I still have a chance to apply for one of these programs? Um, definitely, great question, Lisa. So parents are able to apply to one of our programs either if they choose to attend, uh, if they're a sixth grader, even incoming seventh graders or eighth graders at our academy, um, and I know Lamar's a little bit different, um, but at our academy, um, we are have open applications for years one through three, being six through eight. Um, and of course they would go through the same process as any student from McAllen ISD. Um, we would do with student interviews, we would, they would take an, an entrance exam and that exam is just, just to see where they're at, to see if they're, if they're able, um, if they are going to need a little bit of help coming into the program so our teachers can better prepare for them. Um, I know for Lamar Academy and Ms. Ms. Nino, you can chime in in a little bit, um, but I do know that students at Lamar Academy um, whether they are coming from McAllen ISD or out of district, they are able to join uh, Lamar Academy uh, as, as a ninth grader or as a, an 11th grader, so as an, a junior for the DP program. That is correct. And we do our best to, to kind of keep that application process as similar as possible. So when they're coming up through MYP, again, those experiences align as they're moving up. 
but yes, our application is open to anyone, including out, uh, out of district students at grades nine, as well as into the diploma program at grade 11. And um, also just to say um, a large part of what it is that our students are gonna be doing is exactly what we're doing here today is collaboration, discussion, and just having that open dialogue and so um, that is going to be something also very unique to some students, even if, you know, um, they're more centered around their academics, they're going to really have branch out and blossom in the area of their interpersonal skills and intrapersonal skills, because a large part of the MYP is that collaboration component and in diploma program as well. So it's just nice to kind of be part of that and also see what our students will, you know, will be once they, they leave us here at McAllen IC. Amazing. Final thoughts, team, as we wrap up our time together. Anything else you want our viewers to know? Well, I'll say that, uh, you know, I wanted to know that, that this is an incredible opportunity that, that exists, uh, not just for McAllen ISD, but, but uh, you know, uh, across the, the, the region, you know, th th this uh, uh, one, of, one of a kind, right? I think we're, we're, we're pretty much the only ones with that offer IB. Um, within the district here uh, locally, but I just want to tell you that when it comes to, you know, the student to teacher ratio, you know, we have a, a great student to teacher ratio, very, very few students, so teachers are able to, to get that one-on-one -on -one, uh, with our students and, and, like I said, further continue to, to develop their, their skills, their, their, their strengths, and uh, it's just an incredible program that offers uh, a student the ability to really maximize uh, their, their potential uh, when it comes to academics and, and they don't sacrifice anything uh, and because in fact, uh, they end up finding what some of their passions are and they get to pursue those passions uh, in, in a learning uh, environment, in a learning setting. So it's an incredible opportunity. Beautifully said. Thank you so much, Mr. Cazares and thank you to the rest of the team um, as always, the student outreach team stands ready to answer any questions. We are happy to connect you to any of the folks on this panel um, to the application process as well. We will link the application um, uh, link itself to the post so you'll be able to access the application if you're interested. Also, we'll include any dates for uh, parent meetings, information sessions that are coming up very, very quickly. Um, we are happy to help you. You can reach out to us at 687-6473. Uh, we are super excited. Um, thank you again for all of this information. Everyone stay safe. We'll see you next time.